Greenpoint Williamsburg Public Affairs presentation. This is Neighborhoods Today. Everybody sings, good or bad, just the same. It makes you glad to hear everybody sing. That's Spunky and Jake singing a song from an old album that they made. Hi, welcome to the candy store. My name is Joe Rizzo, formerly known as Joe Beck. Sitting with me here is James Glenn, the executive producer for Neighborhoods Today. Hiya, Joe. It's just great to be back on the set of the candy store after all these years. I feel like I'm in a time warp. I can't believe you duplicated the exact set that was down here in 1971 when I did my shows. I don't know how you did this. You got the records hanging here. You got the peace poster, Santana. We're in a time walk, but it's great, Jim. You did a great job. Tell us, how did the name Joe Beck come about? I have no idea. I was in junior high school, and uh, people started calling me Joe Beck or Hey Beck. And it just caught on, and it stuck with me most of my adult life. And what made you come up with the idea of doing this type of a show? Um, you were doing the New York Variety Show, and there were segments of music, and um, actually I was listening again to this song, The Candy Store, and I had came up with an idea. Let's do a show just of what live music, and, uh, and uh, we called it The Candy Store. Uh, today's guest, Mike and Billy, can you tell us a little bit something about them? Yeah, I met Mike, uh, I think I was about 13 years old or 14 years old. He lived across the street from my cousin Bob. Bob brought him around. And Mike met Billy, I think playing in a folk club back in the day. Um, he brought Billy around. But unfortunately, Billy was on medication for depression most of his life. Okay, well, I think it's time that we go back to that first show. But before we do, I'd like to show the audience the programs that were taped back in the 1970s were done on a reel-to-reel -reel videotape and this happens to be one of the candy store shows um, over the years the tape deteriorated and I had to send these tapes back uh, out to have them baked and cleaned they've been remastered and that's what you're about to see why don't you introduce us okay let's go back to 1971 when All in the Family was a top show on television and Carol King's Tapestry was climbing the charts. Roll it. Everybody sings Welcome good old fairy. Just the same makes you glad to hear everybody sing. Everybody sings good old fairy. Just With the, the candy store band, the Alamalis. There's a place out in space for the candy store. There's a place out in space. And this is your host, Joe Beck. About ten years ago, it was a genuine scream. I found my two guests uh, many years ago when the Night Owl was a cafe. I swept them off the street. They were trying to get in and play. The manager was jumping up and down screaming and I locked them in the trunk of my car. Four years later, I opened the trunk and they were practicing all this while and they're going to perform for you later. I like to rap about music with them. Um, Mike, what is your uh, you know, view of the music scene today? Well, it's kind of complicated. Um See, I, I don't like it as much as I liked it a couple of years ago. In what sense? Well, it seems like when the Beatles and Dylan first came out, there was a lot of imagination, and now there's a lot of imitation. Bill, yeah. what are your views on today's music scene? It's, um, Talking too much. It's, dis it's disintegrated. In what way? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the eye of the beholder, Bill. <laughs> Actually, it's gone up in smoke. <laughs> wow. And I Literally. Do, and I do mean smoke. Right. Who, influ who influenced you the most, Bill? Well, a real bad folk singer or a kindly nurse. This is a family. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mike, who was your biggest influence? My biggest influence? Yes. 
Uh, Bart Green. Bart Green? <laughs> no, they don't know Bart Green. No. Besides uh, Bart Green. That everyone would know. Um, right. Um, yeah, Chester Bob Dylan. Were on the Bob Dylan? Yeah. Bill, what's your favorite instrument? Oh. I'd say, uh, A dreadnought with smooth action strings. Mike? Lightweight. Hydraulic doorknob. <laughs> okay. Um, what was I going to say? Anyway, about the music scene today, who would you consider to be your favorite performer? My favorite performer yeah. today? Oh, I mean someone like who's come out in the last year or so? Yeah. I don't know anyone like that. Uh -huh. um, let's see, if you go back a couple of years, I'd say Jesse Fuller. Jesse Fuller? What was he into? Rather for me, well, I said Jesse Fuller, but the San Francisco Bay Blues. Oh, I knew I heard that somewhere. No, I, I really do like Jesse Fuller. Mm -hmm. um, about music today, uh, you know, as far as, you know, years ago when uh, people used to pass out tambourines and play, you know, down the village, and they're all making it big now, do you think uh, the old influence has, has had that much of an impact on today's sound? Mm. No, I don't think so. I think that, uh, well, number one, there's not one thing you can call today's sound. You know, you, you'll find the influence That's you're true. talking about. You're talking about, like, the old folky, yeah. sincere thing. Right. You still find that there, like Melanie. She's an example of that, yeah. anyway. But, like, um, the whole music scene is so many-sided. Like, you just can't talk about today's music. There's music that's, like, look at Ike and Tina Turner. They're doing something that they've been doing the same way for, you know, six or seven years, right? And it's a style that goes back many more years. Mm -hmm. That's part of today's scene. On the other hand, there's completely original things in part of today's scene. Like, uh, for the Bee Gees. Mm -hmm. they're, they're very original. Then there's songs, tremendous. Bill, what do you think of uh, the Beatles and the way they, since you're uh, an old-time Beatle freak from way back, you know, to the way they've gone right now? Oh, well, it's kind of sad, really. With where they disintegrated. Isn't it good? Well, they were never really, I mean, ever since they made it big, they would never really a group anymore because everything was studio work and, like, they could never perform Sgt. Pepper on stage, you know, so more or less they were always a studio break, uh, group since they, you know, made it. I so think like, they always were a studio group. What? I think they always were a studio group. Oh, when they first started, they weren't. You know, they were no, they performing were. in Hamburg, Germany and, like, well, then, playing their brains out. They were performers you know. then. They're no longer performers. Who's your favorite uh, Beatle? It varies. Sometimes Lennon, sometimes Starr, sometimes McCartney, sometimes Harrison. Ringo Starr? Sure. Uh -huh. And Bruce Hugh the Laughter. Yeah. Mike? He's a natural born comedian. Who's your favorite? John Lennon. John Lennon, why? Because, um, well, I always sort of thought of him as the brains of the group. You know, he. Uh, but to me, he seemed, you know, like when I placed him into bags, I'd say, like, you know, Ringo Starr is like a clown, I'm not very serious. And he wouldn't have made it anyway if it weren't for the rest of them. Okay, thank you. We have to pause for station break. This is WBCF Television, Channel 19 in New York, where you see the best in sight, day and night. Welcome back. Now we have Billy performing a song he wrote, which is a eulogy for a dear friend of ours. Well, Billy's giving a eulogy, but he didn't tell us who for, or what kind. Man standing on the bridge. Gazing out over the blue waters and Tonight the blue waters are black Tonight he stands In doubt Wonder whether those waters will hold him For the sooner it's over, the sooner to sleep. The man 
walks over the bridge He wonders at all the gazing jewels The light shining down the waves Thinks about his girlfriend, thinks about his family But in his ecstasy And no one knows what's in his body now He crumples over the bridge He doesn't intend to go over But he does A young life goes Nobody knows Nobody weeps Nobody cries It's only the tide and water that overrides Men must work and women must weep The sooner it's over, the sooner to sleep For men must work, women must weep the sooner it's over, the sooner to sleep. Sleep. We like to have a station built right now. That eulogy was dedicated to a very dear friend of ours. Now I'd like to turn the show back over to Mike and Bill. Okay. Get a close up of his guitar. Zoom up. San Francisco Bay Roads. Yay! Yeah. I guess it was written by Jesse Fuller, but we have our own version. You all set? Are you okay. okay. How would you like me to do it like this? Say goodbye, made me cry, made me wanna leave. 
WBCF Television, Channel 19, in New York City. I'd like to thank my guests for tonight, <laughs> Billy and Mike, and uh, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make the best Remember, of it. Remember, uh, the last... Host, Joe Beck Jim? saying good night and thank you. Okay. Hey, go ahead. Hi! On the last two, five seconds, three, have me four. laughing. We're, we're all... WBCF television presentation. About ten years ago it was a genuine screen. After Gilbert's on the side of my stick 14. There were gangs, there were clangs, there were... This program was recorded January 9th, 1971. And a little more than that. This is WBCF Television, Channel 19 in New York, where you see the best in sight, day and night. As a sad note, Billy, the banjo player, wound up taking his own life a few months after the show was taped. Hope you enjoyed the show, and remember, today's the first day of the rest of your life. Make the best of it.
Lord, oh, yeah. 